What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a really fun video for y'all today. We are about to take the boat out to a river discharge to do some multi-species fishing. I say that because we're literally targeting anything and everything that swims below that river discharge. Got some crappie magnets rigged up on double jigs. I've got some small swim baits and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch something to bring back home for dinner. So hopefully y'all are excited for that. If so, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and let's get out there. Let's see what we can catch. There we go, fish on. That didn't take long. It doesn't feel very big, it feels like a yellow bass or something. Oh, it's a decent sized yellow bass, look at that one. All right, so he's not super yellow because the water's pretty muddy. That is 100% a yellow bass. When we catch some bigger than that, we might throw them in the live well, take them home with us. I'll take it. First fish, the yellow bass. There's all sorts of things we can catch out here. Hopefully catch a little bit of everything. Another one, next cast. <laughs> I think we have ourselves another yellow bass. What jig is he gonna be on, top or bottom? Always on, oh, I got two. I got a double. Oh, in the boat. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's take a look at this. So the one in my right hand right here, this is a yellow bass, very pale, but this one, a white bass. I should have held them up a little bit closer so you can get the comparison, but that one's got the really faint lines running down the side. <laughs> a double up with a yellow bass and a white bass. That's epic. I should put my triple jigs on so I can get the, uh, see if I can get a white bass, yellow bass, and striper. That would be absolutely ridiculous. There we go. That feels bigger. Uh oh. This is not super small. That was literally the next cast with the catch and the double. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I said I wanted a striper and I think I might have got it. Oh, oh it's a striper. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I literally just said I wanted a striper. Yes. Looky there. We got ourselves a striped bass. Not a monster, but that's, I mean, dang near eating size. I'm halfway tempted to keep it. Oh, I don't know. Should I keep it? Should I keep it and eat it? Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's keep him and eat him. If we decide we don't want him, we can always let him go. Oh, he was on this bottom jig. I was kind of worried if they were going to see that jig or not. So I'm running double crappie magnets and I've got a monkey milk one on the bottom and I've got this orange and chartreuse one on the top. I've got bright jig heads to kind of help them find it. I figured they would probably go for that orange and chartreuse because it's just a good color out here on the river um, and they can really see it. But I guess they can see both of them. That's crazy. Another one. Literally, next guess. Is that even a striped fish? What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a big yellow bass, or a decent sized yellow bass. And on the bottom jig. Nice yellow bass on the bottom jig. They are tearing it up. I have, I've caught a fish every cast so far. And it could, it could always end at any instant. I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I had no idea if I was to catch anything out here today. Let me go right in front of me. That current really changed. It's crazy how fast it's moving now. Another yellow bass. Gotta love it. I mean, just a little bit bigger and I'm throwing him in my live well. Just a little bit. Honestly, might need to consider changing my plastics to maybe try to target some of these striper. I've got some smaller swim baits that I think will work. So I might double rig with like a, uh, like a three inch white swim bait on the bottom or something like that. There we go. That feels really good. That feels really good. Don't get small. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, it's a, what is that? Oh, it's a nice white bass. 
There we go. Boom, we did it right there, guys. Look at that. That is a nice white bass. He was just pulling like dead weight. Heck yeah, now we got ourselves a keeper white bass, a keeper striper. Beautiful white bass. Going in with his other strike buddies. There we go. There we go. Stay on. I got some bigger hooks on here now. I got a swim bait on here. Let's see if it works. Oh gosh. It works. Look at there. I just made the swap. Put a small swim bait on there. That's at six cents. Divine 3.2 inch. Just white. And I just got a chartreuse crappie jig head. And um, I think that was the second cast with it. We got ourselves another striper. The limit out here is 10. And I think it'll take, you know, five or six of that size to have a good mess of striper. But I think we're going to, we mean, we already have a white bass and a yellow bass in there too. So I think we're going to be good on getting some uh, fish to eat. But I think by bumping up the size of the swim bait, it's going to allow us to target these striper a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm really optimistic about it. These ain't giant striper. But they're good eat. There he is. There he is. There he is. That feels like a pretty decent one. Is there two? Or just one good one? It might be two. That's just one. Oh, it's a nice one. That's going to be our biggest if I can get him in the boat. Yes. Woo. All right. Well, that move definitely paid off to target the striper. We'll definitely probably pick up the double jig or the smaller rig here again. But that's what we want right there, guys. That is a good little striper. We can make some amazing fish tacos with this guy. Gotcha. That feels so good whenever they hit it like that. I mean, just freight trained it. And they always run straight back to the boat, all crazy like. There we go. Another striper. Surprised I ain't caught nothing on that top grub yet. That's a good one. Good little striper. I think it's my fourth, maybe my fifth one. I think it's my fourth keeper. I'm not sure. Fourth or fifth. I'll have to dig down there and make sure. All right, that last striper tour. My swim bait up, so we're getting a new one here. Guys, if y'all have not checked out the Six Sense Divine swim bait yet, you really, really need to. This is by far my favorite little soft plastic paddle. So they've got them in a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different sizes, all the way from 2.7 inches all the way to 4.4. And I mean, I have caught just so many fish on it and so many different species and so many big fish that, I, like I said, I, I simply just cannot recommend them enough. I'll link them down in the video description. Be sure to use the code CJ10 at checkout if you decide to pick up any. I would recommend getting this pearl color. There's another color called Pro Shad. Anything that looks shaddy is going to be good. I like the straight white and this muddy water. Um, it's just a good color, no matter the conditions, really. Um, but that's what I've been catching all my fish on. I had a grub on the top jig, but I wasn't getting bit. So I'm actually going to pop out a six cents whale, which is another swim bait that I really like. I'm going to put it on top. That's a 3.0. It's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put the small one on top. I think it'll still swim right up here. And we're gonna see if we can get some more fish. Y'all see me throw a double jig rig all the time, but that is the double little finesse swim bait rig right there. Let's see if it works. I think it'll work. Put in the water and see if it works. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Fish on. I took off my top jig. I just went with one swim bait. And we're hooked up. Nice stripey. Hmm. 
get up in here. There we go. There's another good one. I swapped up to just a single swim bait. I felt like the two swim baits were kind of fighting each other and I was kind of losing action. So I just went with one and I upsized the head. I had a bunch of these random, just big um, ball head jig heads. And that worked out really, really well. I think he bit it on the fall, honestly. Oh gosh, he liked that. I gave him the jiggle jiggle and he went for it. They're all about the same size, aren't they? They're all fat though. Ah. Easy, don't poop on me. Oh, he did poop on me. That's gross. Ugh, look at that. That's disgusting. Striper poop stinks. They are the poopinest fish. There we go. Well, I guess since he pooped on me, I'm going to eat him. <laughs> you know, I haven't really dialed in what retrieve these fish are really liking. I feel like I caught them several different ways, but one thing that's been consistent is I've been letting the bait get all the way down to the bottom. So letting it hit bottom, the current's not ripping as hard as it was. It kind of changed on me, which is okay. But letting it get down to the bottom, and I'm kind of just trying to keep my swim bait moving at the same pace as the current. So it seems like I'm reeling it pretty fast, but really I'm just trying to keep up with my line. And I've noticed that I've gotten some of my bites after kind of popping the bait. I've also gotten some bites from just really letting it just kind of creep down there on the bottom. And then I remember I had one bite where I really kind of passed like that and he bit it. So it's been a mix of retrieves. We've done pretty good though. We guess we've caught close to 10 stripers now. Well, I just got bit. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He might be big. Come on. Don't be snagged. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, it's a, oh my gosh, that's not a striper. That's a big blue-eyes white dragon. <laughs> Man, I told you guys, everything loves a divine swim bait. Oh, look at that dude. I got real excited that I had myself a big old striper that time. Big drum. Got him. Guys, I'm starting to get warm out here. I ain't gonna lie. The day started off, it was like 30 degrees. But now the sun's out. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a striper. Oh, I thought it was a crappie for a second. That's my smallest one. Look at the stripes, they're all weird. Some of y'all will probably argue and say that that's a hybrid, but that's definitely a striper. He's just got weird stripes. Let me know though, what do you think? Hybrid? Striper? He's a striper. Just saw what I think was a striper came up to the surface. Laying around top of him. Definitely like a striper. Oh gosh, he liked the burn. He liked the turn and burn. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but I was reeling it slow and I gave him the turn and burn and he crushed it. I know it looks like I'm horsing these fish in, but the current's coming fast right to me and the fish swim right at the boat. That's all I can do to keep up with them. There we go. Another really nice tuppy guy. Spin him back. I'm gonna pick up the crappie jigs again for a minute. There we go, back on the crappie jig train. What do you think we got? I bet it's a yellow bass. Oh yeah. Back on the yellow bass train right there. Good little fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got something feeling big on the crappie jigs. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a catfish. We did it. There we go. <laughs> Look at that guys. Now we pretty much caught everything you can catch out here. 
we got a channel catfish. Well, I guess we need a blue catfish and a flathead. And we haven't caught a largemouth, which is kind of crazy. There's still a chance, but I'm actually thinking about heading out here in a minute because they bite has gotten so slow, but that's crazy. There we go. Little channel catfish on the crappie magnet. He liked the orange one. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, that one definitely got on the bottom. I casted it out, checked my phone, cranked it up off the bottom real fast and got smoked. Oh gosh. He feels nice. There he is. You think he wanted it? <laughs> Dang, it's another good one. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna count how many I got in there. Eight. eight. Okay, just counting them, we've got eight in there. Two more, and we'll have limited out. Awesome river striper this morning. Look at this guys, look at this. Double trouble yellow bass. I was hoping I'd catch another double today. Look at there. <laughs> double the trouble yellow bass. I thought it was just one little guy, that's why I wasn't really getting excited about it, but it was these two dudes getting crazy. Oh, there we go. What is that? That feels good. Oh, it's a bass. It's a big bass. Stay on there. Yes, we did it. We caught everything. Oh my gosh. Woo, look at that. Look at the size of that largemouth. He's not like a monster monster, but he is a dang good one. Got him on the whale. We did it. We caught almost everything you could catch out here. That is so awesome. Man, he, he just crunched it. That is awesome. I saw a few little minnows flickering. Go ahead and let him go. We'll see you later, Mr. Bass. And I decided to throw the swim bait over there at him. And I got the guy who I think was chasing him. That's like a two and a half pounder. Heck yeah. The bite has really slowed down. I ain't caught much at all the last 20 minutes, but. I think that's a good way to wrap it up. Look at that. Look at our little champion right there. Well, we caught probably half our fish on this thing, half of them on the Divine Swim Bait, but either way, two great finesse swim bait options to catch everything. So cool. All right, guys. Well, today was an awesome day out here on the river at this discharge. We caught a lot of fish. We caught a lot of different species on a variety of different techniques, but definitely the winner of today, or definitely the MVP of today, I should say, was the Sixth Sense Divine Swim Bait and the, and the Whale Swim Bait. Those caught us the most striper. Look at these guys, we got them on a stringer. Look at all these fish. They're not the biggest striper in the world, but those will make some tacos. I ended up with one shy of a limit on the stringer, but I definitely caught more than my limit of striper today. I think I probably caught close to 20. Um, but just no really big ones. Like the biggest one on here is like probably close to two pounds but that's okay these fish are going to eat up really really nicely so that's exactly what we're fixing to do we're going to take the boat back to the ramp load it up on the trailer get back to the house get these fish cleaned up and we're going to turn them into some delicious fish tacos and i cannot wait to bring y'all along with me on this dining experience so let's get back to the ramp get back to the house i'll see you guys when we get there all right guys we made it back here to the house and i've got my striper laid out on the table and i would like to take a second to show you guys how i like to clean these fish so what i have here in my hand is my electric handheld fillet knife um, this is my preferred way to clean striper it's just really quick and easy especially on these smaller sized fish in the background you can hear we have a flock of geese coming in to inspect what's going on they better be careful they might get got tomorrow morning if they hang around might have to go do some goose hunting but anyways back on the striper we're going to start by making our cut behind the head behind the pectoral fin it's basically like cleaning a bass 
um, like a large mouth. They're pretty much the same shape and size. So here we go. We're going to go down in the middle vertebrae. And then we're going to run the knife laterally down the side, follow the bones to the tail. I like to stop right there before cutting out all the way through just so I can flip the meat over. Now I have something to grab a hold of. Now we're just going to take the fillet right off of the skin. And what I like to do is kind of lift up a little bit. Um, I don't want to like it take it clean off the skin because if you do that, you you have more red meat. And I'll show you that red meat in just a second. So I kind of like to lift up just a little bit. So here's our fillet. And you can see right here, it's not so prominent on these smaller fish. On bigger fish, it's a lot darker, but that section of red meat doesn't really taste that great. And by lifting up on the knife, we're able to eliminate a lot of that that we have to cut off. You can kind of see here on the skin, if I was to go really tight to it, you can see how more pronounced and dark that bloodline is. It's just not tasty. So it just kind of takes a step away from having to cut it off later on. So now we're gonna cut the ribs out. I like to, this knife's really good. I like these deep serrations. I can kind of saw down into the meat and get up underneath the ribs. Just pop the ribs out. We still have all that meat on the underside. And then what we have left is just that little bit of red meat right there. And I'm actually just going to take the knife and just lightly cut that off. I wanted to leave some on there so I could show you guys how I like to do that, but I just barely trimmed that off. There's a little bit there. I'll trim that off when we get back inside with a different knife. Um, but there you go. There is our striper fillet. It's about the same size as like a, you know, a sl nice, decent slab crappie. Cause like I said, these are not the biggest striper in the world. You know, my preferred size to keep is going to be, you know, like a three to five pounder on average, but we'll take what the river gives us. So let's do the other side really quick. I actually really like clean and striper just because they're they're a more narrow fish. They're really easy to clean. And you can see that when I lift it up a little bit more on the fillet, and I don't have as much red meat up here on top to worry about. So whenever I trim these up in the kitchen, I probably will slice right through there slice right through there because we're gonna turn these into tacos anyway. So there's really no need into um, having a perfect big filet all in one piece. But anyways, that's our striper filets, really easy. We have eight more to clean. So we'll rip, rip through them really quickly and then we'll get them ready to cook. All right, guys, there is the final product. We have our crunchy tortilla shells. We have our taco seasoned striper. We've got our avocados and we've got our taco hot sauce, taco bell hot sauce, and then some green salsa on there. Those look super good. And we have avocados. I'm not sure if I said that already or not, but my lighting in here is not very good, but those tacos look amazing. Let's go on ahead and let's do a taste test. I told you guys, my lighting in here is so dumb right now, but that's okay. As we've got tacos, I'm excited to see how these things taste. They're in some little tiny shells. I'm afraid this is about to go everywhere. Wish me luck. Mm. I have been longing for that striper taco for so long. I'm not sure when the last time was that we had striper tacos or last time we caught striper. It's been several months. So that is why I was so excited whenever I started catching a few of those guys and got a whole mess of them here. And uh, we're going to take the rest of the afternoon and enjoy the catch that we got today. Uh, Jane and Baby C are hanging out over in his room, messing around right now. I'm not sure what kind of trouble they're getting into, but we're gonna make some plates. We're going to enjoy this meal. But I hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out with me out there at the river today, catching those striper. It was a lot of fun. We're catching everything. We, we literally caught everything out there. And uh, we'll definitely plan on going out there again sometime soon. Maybe try to catch some bigger striper. Maybe try to catch some catfish or 
target some bass or maybe yellow bass. I don't know. I don't know. There's, that's, it's so much fun fishing out there because you just never know what you're going to catch. But until then, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Greatly appreciate it. If y'all enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.